into our fourth and I think final video making this little micro uh, Bluetooth USB speaker. Um, and uh, what have we done just now? Um, I've made a little insert of wood in there, which I've stuck in with PVA glue, and I'm just clamping it in position while that sets. And I'm trying to make sure here that that edge is not compromised. I've got a nice flush edge there, and I think with my old eyes, I'm going to be okay with that. So that's all looking good. Um, while that's setting, what I want to do is have a look at these speakers. Now then, it seems to me as if this speaker is going to want to go on this side. I think the speaker goes on the other side, and I think that's going to look really great. So let's sort of see. We need to have some little um, bolts here. Now, these are M2 12 mil bolts so they're two millimeter diameter thread and the thread is actually 12 millimeters long and if i push this through here it should go all the way through out the other side and i can see i can then add on a nut now actually i think i'm going to pause at this point because i think looking at the length of that i might be able to go with a slightly smaller bolt so let's just pause this and let's see what i can find we might have some eight millimeters Okay, so I've got an M2 8 millimeter bolt here. So it's still 2 millimeter diameter, but now it's 8 millimeters in length. And let's just see how this looks when I push that through. Okay, so there's a little bit of thread showing through there. And is that going to be enough? I don't know. I, I, it could be a little bit longer, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, let's put a nut on here, and this is where things are going to be incredibly tricky to actually tighten up because these are all tiny little things, and my big sausage, sausage fingers might have a problem. So I'm just tightening that by hand, and it's, I think it's grabbed the thread. Now let's get my Allen key set here, and I think I want to probably be working with... I can pop that on there and have a look. Uh, it wants to be the 1.5, does it? Yes, it's the 1.5 millimeter Allen key. So let's just get this. Let's see if I can now tighten that up. And that's actually working rather successfully. Okay, now I've got some thin nose pliers here. I mustn't pull on the cables here because I don't want to suddenly find that I rip the cables, damage these cables that go from the speakers to the amplifier board. Now, can I grab it like th that? Hmm, the wire is just a little bit in the way there. Can I grab it like that? And also, I don't want to over tighten this because I could crack the acrylic on the front plate. Now, I'm not working with any washers here. I could technically have some washers on the front here to protect the plastic, but I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. And that's gone on nicely. Yeah, okay, I think we're going to persevere here with the eight millimeter bolts. That seems like it's gonna be quite successful there. Let's push that through there. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm gonna keep on putting in my little nuts and bolts here, put the speakers all together, and then we will uh, we'll take it from there. We'll pick up the video again. Notice, of course, that this is why I'm keeping this front panel away from the rest of the box, because mounting these speakers, if this was glued into the box, it would be a real nightmare. So that's why I kept this separate until now. Okay, we'll pause there, and I'll put the rest of the nuts and bolts in. Okay, so I've got all eight bolts in and they've all been um, you know the nuts have been put on the back there just two things to mention about this the first thing is that i've actually found when tightening these up i didn't need the thin nose pliers because as i was tightening them i found actually that the nut didn't move and i was able just to tighten the bolt there with the allen key on its own so that was really good and not too tight of course to crack the plastic and the second thing i wanted to say here as um, you know, I would genuinely recommend bolting your speakers down onto the speaker plate here rather than using glue gun because it's going to be a lot more robust and reliable if we bolt. Just also notice here as well that these grills here, they're quite thin, or well, they are quite thin full stop. And um, some of them have actually, you know, bent or warped slightly with the heat from the laser cutter as it was cutting through the plastic. So that's just an interesting observation there. 
Okay, so speakers all attached. I might just double check all those bolts are nice and tight before I go any further. And also I'm still waiting for this little bit of wood here to glue. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to pause the video again, um, make sure that's all set. And then the final thing we're going to do here is put it all together, um, glue it in place. I think I am, I'll put it all together yeah, I am. I'm going to glue it. I was thinking about not gluing it. Then you can remove these panels and kind of fix things up. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm not going to glue this. I think it was the final version I would because then it's 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 sealed and I think it would be better. But I think because this is going to be a demo piece as well for students in my class to explore, I will have it so you can take things off still. Yes. Okay, cool. So there we are. I'll pause the video and we will be back in maybe uh, an hour's time in real life, not in the video time, um, so that the glue's had time to set a bit more and then I'll put it all together and test it. Okay, so it took a little job to do that, but nevertheless, I'll fix that and then we'll come back to the next step, which is gluing it back. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have glued the front panel on here. Um, I found uh, another wire actually broke, so I've had two of these wires break in the process of uh, adding the front panel and the speakers on. So with hindsight, what I would have done here is I would not have glued Oh, not sold, glued, sorry, soldered the uh, the wires to the speakers until the speakers were mounted to the front panel here in the grill. Then I would have soldered on, I think, the wires um, because they were very, very fragile. But anyway, there we are. We've managed to fix it. I've still got these clamps on here at the moment because um, I would have taken it all off once it had set, but the video is still running and, uh, and, I, and I've got to basically conclude the video at this point um so what i'm going to do here now is put on this top panel now i'm thinking as i mentioned earlier i'm not going to um glue this top panel i'm just gonna have that as a friction fit i have glued the front panel but this top one i'll have as a friction fit so that it can be removed and then people can see inside having said that it is quite a tight fit and that might be because i'm still got these clamps on here but there we are we're in position now that's done okay so now the next challenge is to turn this on. I'm just going to do something quickly on this machine here. It's going to do that. Okay, let's turn this on. The lights come on the back there. Okay, the sound has come on there. Oh, incidentally, once it's all fixed, I'm going to put some little rubber feet on here as well. Um, in fact, with hindsight, thinking about this, what I, what I actually wanted to do with the original design was put little feet on here as part of the 3D print, but um, I think I was so excited to make the speaker, I completely forgot about it. Okay, here we are. I've got my phone. Let's turn on the Bluetooth here. Let's see what we have got. got to pair a new device. And I believe, I hope that is, nope, that's the one there. Whew. Okay, this is called MHM38. Oh, is it available? There we are. We are in. Okay, let's go and see what we are going to play. Let's go with that. And let's go with that. Now, that's definitely better than a phone. Now, I've actually got my phone here and about... Yeah, about half volume on the phone is giving me no distortion. But if I increase the volume, I'm going to get distortion. I'm going to move forward a bit in the track there. That's not bad, that. Yeah, if I turn up the volume there... You can hear the speakers are starting to just distort. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, so I'm only able to go up to about 
maybe three fifths volume. Anyway, that's significantly better than what I get out of my phone. So I'm really pleased with that. That's awesome. Okay, there we are. End of the video. I hope that was useful. And uh, see you back on the channel.